black and white network fans. We are back with another video. And as you guys know, the left loves to lie about Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse defended himself. Unfortunately, two people actually had to lose their lives for Kyle Rittenhouse to defend himself. And ever since Kyle Rittenhouse actually um, ended up getting arrested, got on trial, was acquitted. The left continued to spread the lie. Joe Biden was actually out there doing the campaign for the White House. He was actually out there putting Kyle Rittenhouse in a video with white supremacists. I'm talking about real white supremacists because, uh, you know, the left, anybody that disagree with them is a white supremacist. But in that video that was actually real white supremacists. And he put Kyle Rittenhouse in that same boat. And Joe Biden has never backtracked from that. And that is a lie. It's a complete lie. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse, he has a long list of people he's planning to sue. LeBron James is actually one of them and some other Hollywood celebrities as well. But Joe Biden is supposed to be leading this country. And Kyle Rittenhouse has not heard from Joe Biden. Kyle Rittenhouse has actually tried to reach out to Joe Biden to talk. Crickets, nothing. Now, this is not a surprise because uh, Joe Biden is pretty busy these days, uh, Kyle. He is pretty busy destroying the United States of America. And he's doing an, a fabulous job of that. I mean, have you seen your gas prices? Have you seen your um, your food prices? It's outrageous. 40 year high on inflation. Joe Biden is too busy destroying his country to pick up the phone and call Kyle Rittenhouse. Also, you know, uh, Joe Biden's son is also corrupt. The laptop is real. Joe Biden has a lot of things on his plate. Kyle Rittenhouse. So I just want you to understand that. But uh, check this out, guys. On the New York Post, Kyle Rittenhouse blasts Biden for not returning calls to sit down and talk. Joe Biden is just making things worse for himself, but he is bought into the leftist agenda because Joe Biden is a leftist himself. And the leftist agenda is, is that Kyle Rittenhouse is a white supremacist that went out and killed black people, which is not true. There's still people out there, guys, that actually believe that Kyle Rittenhouse killed black people. He didn't even shoot a black person. Everybody that he shot, all three people were white. And one of those guys did horrific things to children. But the left, they won't even bring that up. Well, let's read a little bit of this. Kyle Rittenhouse, who was acquitted last fall of um, or last year, I should say, of all charges in connection with a shooting that killed two people who were white and injured a third during a 2020 protest in Wisconsin has slammed Joe Biden and the mainstream media while insisting he's not a white supremacist. Rittenhouse, now 19, joined the Jenna Ellis Show podcast Tuesday to voice his grievances at news organizations in the aftermath of his acquittal and called out the commander in sleep. I'm sorry, I meant the commander in chief for ignoring his request to meet with him. Quote, I've been all right, but it's been a little difficult because with all the false narratives that were put out where people called me a white supremacist, a murderer and racist and all the other lies. I don't know if somebody's uh, seen one of those articles or watch one of those uh, news stories. He's talking about the mainstream media that has been putting out lie after lie after lie. He should shoot, he should really, really sue the mainstream media organizations. He really should because they have slandered him and they have not backtracked whatsoever. Whoopi Goldberg is also on the hit list, too. The Illinois native said he's afraid to go food shopping or take his dog for a walk because he might be attacked or harassed due to the false lies that were put out. This is why he is suing these people, because now his life could really be in danger if he runs into uh, somebody um, that's really, really crazy. OK. And. If I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, I would not want to be in the shoes of Kyle Rittenhouse to where, you know, he he has he wants to walk out his home. And then he has to think about, is it actually going to be safe for me to walk out my home? And this is all because of the media lies. Joe Biden is a major part of that. LeBron James, Whoopi Goldberg, all of these are woke leftists out there. A lot about this man. I mean, there's people out there that think that his mother drove him across state lines to kill 
black people. The gun was already in Wisconsin. He works out there in Wisconsin. His mother did not even drive him out there. These people are lying. It says Rittenhouse says he wants to have one of those chats with Biden, whom the team has said he wants to sue for calling him a white supremacist while running for the White House in September 2020. And to me, he should sue Joe Biden and he should win. Joe Biden was a civilian during that time. He was not an elected official at that time. Joe Biden absolutely should pay up. He should. I mean, maybe Joe Biden can actually give him some of that, some of that uh, bit guy money. I digress. Rittenhouse says this, quote, I reached out to Joe Biden several times. Crickets, nothing. Rittenhouse said he still hasn't replied. So it just shows how much of a man he is not to not uh, sit down and talk. Man, you're not going to hear from Joe Biden at all. You never are. You may hear from him in a court of law. And that's about it. Biden said he was angry and concerned after Rittenhouse was cleared of all charges, but stood by the jury's findings. Quote, I ran on a promise to bring Americans together because I believe that that's what unites us is far greater than what divides us. Biden said following the verdict last November. Well, Joe Biden has not not united us at all. His approval rating just shows that. This man is the divider in chief as well as the uh, commander of sleep. Sleepy Joe is asleep at the wheel. He has no time for Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse will never hear from this man unless it's in a court of law. Joe Biden is, is really, really despicable, guys. He really is. Are you surprised that uh, Joe Biden has not returned Kyle Rittenhouse's calls? I'm not. I'm pretty sure that Kyle Rittenhouse's lawyers have reached out to uh, more than just Joe Biden. A guy like Joe Biden, man, right now, guys, where I'm at. It is almost 3.30 um, p.m. Central Standard Time. It's about nap time right now for Joe Biden and 5.30. Be time for him to go to bed. So don't hold your breath, Kyle. You're not going to hear from Beijing Biden ever unless it's in a court of law. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.